If you don't like this record, then you never really like this. The Betrayed uh, is uh, yeah, your very first uh, self-produced record. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, the four you've released. What was the most important thing that you've learned from that, uh, that whole process? Oh, God. Well, I mean, we didn't set out to do the, that album ourselves. Uh, we did work with um, a number of producers on it. But I think with it being our fourth record, we, uh, we kind of found out this time around that, like, it wasn't really working with producers. Nobody was really understanding what we wanted to say with the songs. So um, we decided in the end, you know, after going down a couple of different routes and wasting a lot of money, um, that it was it was it was time we did it. You know what I mean? We couldn't have done it on any other record because we just didn't have the know-how or the confidence, really. Um, but we've learned so much from all the producers we've worked with in the past that. It was just our time, you know what I mean, to, to do it ourselves. And Stuart, the bass player in the band, sort of uh, produced it and mixed it and everything like that. So I think the two main important, the two main factors about what was good for us to record it ourselves was one, we could put our trust in Stuart because he knew how we wanted to be perceived as a band. So we could actually, um, nobody knows us better than ourselves. And that was one thing I think that was really good about this album is it was a good interpretation of what we wanted people to see, you know. If you don't like this record, then you never really liked us. If you know what I mean. Um, no, nah, that's not true. But uh, the same thing was it brought out a lot of Ian's personality because in the past, you know, Ian would be trying to get his lyrical content out and working, working with producers and stuff like that. Um, and they'd maybe push him directions he didn't necessarily feel comfortable about going. Whereas because Stuart knew Ian and vice versa, they were able to actually get a really good presentation of Ian's personality in, in the lyrics. So um, from both perspectives, it worked really well for us. Okay, what was it uh, that you wanted, uh, wanted to say with, with, uh, with the songs that the producers and the labels didn't understand? Um, I know that Ian kind of was, uh, lyrically, he was over, he was over the old, you know, hey, come on, everybody, get up and do this with your lives. You know what I mean? He was kind of a little bit spent. He felt like he'd said everything that he wanted to say about that. So um, the album was a little bit more introspective and about himself. So lyrically, the actual, uh, a lot of the content of the album is darker and a little bit more kind of personal. You know what I mean? Some of the songs are a little bit more about Ian's take on himself and the world rather than just, you know, come on, let's jump around and all that kind of stuff. Um, from an audio perspective, from like the musicianship, I think there's a really delicate, fine line between getting the magic that you have when you perform live and capturing that in a studio environment. Now, we're not the kind of band that can go in there and just record everything live because we're very ambitious with our songs. They're very, you know, um, grandeur. Uh, and you can't really capture, I think, by just plugging in and playing like some sort of um, live band. But I think, I think Stu... Yeah. The, the producer as well, they can only ever interpret what you're trying to convey to them, you know what I mean? So, like, you have a vision of what you have your album sounding like or what you want it to sound like. They can only ever in interpret it, whereas, you know, having Stu produce the record, sort of like, you know, the the vision between everybody sort of thing, you know, came together as one, you know what I mean? So it's sort of like, rather than an interpretation, it's you're actually getting what the band wanted the record to be yeah. like, you know? It's like straight from the farm to the dinner plate, <laughs> you know, rather than going via the supermarket.